Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on Formic. Forms are a vital part of any business application. We use forms to register, log in, submit a request, place an order, schedule an appointment and perform countless other tasks. While developing forms, it's important to create an experience that guides the user efficiently and effectively through the workflow. As developers, we need to handle form data, validation, visual feedback with error messages, and of course, form submission. In this series, we will learn how to do all of that in React using Formic. Which brings us to the question, what is Formic? Formic is a small library that helps you deal with forms in React and React Native. Now, why would you want to use Formic? Well, Formic helps you with three main parts. First one, managing the form data. That is, getting the values of the different form fields in and out of the form state. Second, form submission. Formic helps you easily handle form submissions. Third, form validation and displaying error messages. Now I know you might be telling yourself that there is nothing new here. You could do all of this with plain React. Well, that is true, but Formic helps you do the same thing, but in a scalable, performant and easier way. It will abstract all the annoying parts and lets you create even the most complex of forms without having to break your head. How does it achieve all that? That is exactly what we are going to learn in this series. By the end of this series, I guarantee you that you will find creating forms in React to be a piece of cake. All right, before we start, let's go over the prerequisites. You need to be familiar with HTML, CSS, a few ES6 features, React and a bit of React hooks to fully understand Formic. If you're new to any of that, I suggest you learn them first and then resume the series. On a side note, if you have a good idea on most of the topics, start going through the series and if at all you come across a concept that you don't quite understand, take a detour and learn just that one concept and come back to the series. All right, with that in mind, let's go over the course structure for this series. First half of the series, we are going to concentrate on how Formic works. So we will build a really simple form. For that, we will make use of the use Formic hook provided by the library. We will take a look at the three core parts about managing a form. We will see how to manage the form state, how to handle form submission, and then how to validate the form fields. After that, we will see the various components that Formic provides to abstract some repetition in the code. At this point is when you will truly realize what Formic brings to the table. Once we understand the basics of Formic, we will explore a few more features that Formic provides which may come in handy. Once that is done, for the second half of the series, we will get into building some production level code. We will create reusable components for various form controls such as input, text area, select dropdown, radio buttons, and checkboxes. We will then create a user registration form using those components. Finally, we will see how to wire up a UI library into our reusable Formic wrapped component. By the end of this series, you will be in a good position to build simple and complex forms in React. And as always, all the code pertaining to this course will be on my GitHub page. So let's get started with a basic form in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.